So the age old question for every student within the universe has always been how can I pass my exams with the least amount of effort? After years and years of sitting exams during medical school and through my specialty training, I have definitely tried my fair share of various techniques. But in today's video, I'm going to talk about active recall and why it's the goat of all techniques. What's going on guys, Jazz here and welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to go through the best study technique I've ever come across and why I think you should give it a go. Now I've tried all the other techniques like reading your notes a million times, highlighting entire textbooks, flashcards, mind maps and you know even pulling all nighters but active recall is just so much better. So firstly, what is active recall? So as the name suggests, it's basically an efficient active study technique which actively stimulates the memory during the learning process to help you retain information more effectively. Now you're probably wondering then, how does it differ from passive recall? So apart from the name being the complete opposite, here's an example. So in passive recall, you will be reading a text, say about the celiac axis, with no further action. But you could also answer the question, what is the superior most branch of the abdominal aorta? And that would be active recall. So in 2009, McDaniel et al. came up with the 3R method, which stands for Read, Recite, Review for Learning, particularly from textbooks. They conducted two experiments that compared the 3R strategy to rereading and note-taking techniques, and the results showed that the 3R method improved both immediate and delayed free recall of information. The studies also showed that the 3R users also performed better than those people who were note takers, even when the note takers studied for a longer period of time. Also in 2009, Carper here et al. also concluded that students get illusions of competence from rereading their notes and their textbooks. So they figured the reason for this was that the text contained all the information. So it's easy to glance over it and feel as if the information was that well known when in fact it actually wasn't the case at all. So better put, in the text you're studying, the cue and the corresponding answer were always present, which is obviously not the case in, during testing and when you're sitting exams, and therefore students who just were rereading their notes struggled to recall during the exam setting. So in summary guys, active recall is much more effective than either just recognition or passive review in consolidating information in your long-term memory, and I think you should definitely give it a go. So thanks for watching the video guys, I hope you found it useful. Uh, if, you, if you did like it, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel if you're new and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.